Hello, this is Ivan for watchandlearn.com and in this episode I was planning to do gulp.js live reload, SAS, minification of JavaScripts and so on for Drupal 8. But I'm not going to do that, instead we are going to learn how to enable uh, tweak debugging and how to disable Drupal cache. Why we need to do that first you will see in just a second. This is the site we created in our previous episodes. And as, a, as you can see, we have some content on, on here. But that's weird, because if we go to our theme, uh, in themes, custom and Demian, uh, we will see that we have only uh, .info.yml file and .libraries.yml file. So where does this content right here come from? So in Drupal, uh, when you create your theme, and something is supposed to display on your site and you don't have a template for that, uh, the Drupal will default to its core templates. And that templates can be found in core, uh, then you go to modules, then you go to system, just a second, system, and then you go to templates. So this page right here is actually displayed from the file called page.html.twig so if we want to use this file in our theme we of course won't edit it right here well we can just copy it no not copy name just copy the file I will close all of this and paste it in my endymion theme okay paste so we have page.html.twig right here. We will talk about Twig in future episodes. For now you just need to know that Twig is a templating language that Drupal uses to display uh, information on your pages, on your templates, on your categories, taxonomies and so on. So this is the page.html twig and as you can see this is the uh, content that is displayed right here. So. Uh, this uh, tem template tag, actually twig tag page.content is all of this right here. Welcome to Drupal theming and so on. And if I go right here and add something to it, let's say hello, okay, and save this, if I refresh this page, you will see that nothing has happened. There is no hello right here. So I'm going to go to configuration and performance and clear cache. Wait just a second. And now I'm going to go to open a new tab with my site on it. As, and as you can see, the hello is right here. Okay, so we cleared the cache, the hello uh, appeared. So let's say we want to add something else to this page. Hello there. Okay, if I save this now and refresh the page, you will see that again we just have hello. So we have to go right here again and clear all caches. We did clearing the caches uh, pre uh, very much in the previous episodes. So if I refresh this now, we get hello there. Okay, so as you can see, this is not the best way to uh, make your themes. So whenever you make a change to the template file, you have to clear the cache and so on. And this is not the way we want to work. We want to make some changes to our template and want those changes to be immediately visible on our site. So right now we are going to learn how to disable uh, twig cache and uh, all of the Drupal cache so that we can easily work with our themes. So to disable cache and to enable uh, twig debugging, I will talk about twig debugging a little bit later, uh, but we will see it how it works uh, right here. Uh, the process is not actually very intuitive. so. I spent about two or three hours uh, scouring the internet to find the best solution on how to do this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to 
our sites folder and we'll see that we have this example.settings.local.php file right here. If we open it up you can see you have some instructions right here but they're not very uh, they're, they're a little bit confusing. I don't know what this sites example.com means. So what if your site is on localhost slash DA theming? What would you put in there? I don't know. So <clears throat> the solution to this is is I'm going to go to my file manager. Forklift is a great file manager and I'm going to go to sites and I'm going to copy this example.settings.local.php file to the default folder. I'm going to copy it and as you can see this is protected folder so you have to add your uh, password. Okay and now I'm going to rename it and I'm going to rename it to be just settings.local.php. So we want to have some uh, local settings for our Drupal. So let's say th these are going to be development settings as we are developing a theme. Of course you will turn all of this off once your site goes live. Okay. So now that we did that we can go to default and settings.local.php and in this file I'm going to first of all just make this text a little bit bigger so you can see better. We are going to find first of all this line as you can see it's calling uh, sites development.services.yml okay we have that file right here so it's in the sites folder but what we wanna do actually is disable the cache so I'm going to go right here and uh, uncomment this settings cache bins render equals cache.backend.null and I'm going to save this and right now if I go to my site nothing should happen actually because we first have to go to settings.php file right here and go to the end of that file so I have to pause the video right here because if I go uh, down even more you will see my uh, database settings and passwords and so on and I don't want you to see that but what we want to do uh, right here so at the end of this file we will uncomment these three lines so these three lines are actually calling this settings.local.php file that we set up right here so I'm going to save this let's say overwrite okay and if I go to my site now and refresh it you will see this error so I had a lot of problems with this error and this error is happening uh, I don't actually know why it's happening because if we uh, go to settings.local you will see that it's calling this file right here and we have that file uh, actually it's it's this one so it's calling this cache backend null and so on and it shouldn't be this uh, this unexpected error please try again you have requ requested non-existent service so to fix that it would be very nice uh, for Drupal guys to add this right here but to fix that is actually you just go rebuild.php so you go uh, DA theming dev or whatever it is for you so localhost DA theming or something like that slash rebuild.php and press enter so to rebuild this site configuration okay and right now as you can see our site works fine so the next thing we want to do is we wanna <clears throat> if we go to let me just see right here default services you can see that we have some services for twig so twig config and we have debug set to false auto reload set to null so auto reload automatically re recompiles twig templates whenever the source code changes if you don't provide a value for it, it okay 
so and you have this cache set to true so we have to disable cache uh, enable auto reload and debug set to uh, to true if you did just uh, if you did that in this file it wouldn't work uh, but as I found out before uh, when I did uh, research for this video uh, you can actually just rename default.services to services.yml and then it would work but I don't want to do that I want to set up a local development environment for Drupal so what we're gonna actually do is going to we are going to go to this development.services.yml file and then we're just going to do so pretty much copy this so we have par parameters so we're going to go to this file so development.services.yml it's in sites folder and we're going to do parameters so I hope I spelled this correctly parameters okay then we're going to do tweak config twig.config okay and then remember this is YML file so indentation is important and then we're going to go uh, right here services so just to see what these configs are called so debug we're going to do debug and set it to true okay and then we have auto reload and set that to true also okay and then we have what is the last one called cache so we definitely have to set that to false false okay save this and now if we go to our site refresh it open up our console and as you can see nothing actually happened right here so we have to clear the cache one more time so let's clear the cache okay and refresh this page and as you can, uh, as you can see now the tweak debugging is working we are we are going to do a lot of things with this tweak debug set to true but one uh, way we can tell that it's working is if we uh, check out the, our console right here you can see we have some helpful information about this template file so this theme debug theme hook uh, it gives us file name suggestions it gives us file name suggestions for some outputs right here uh, it shows you uh, uh, what template it's currently calling for this toolbar administration so it's core templates table templates navigation toolbar and so on so it gives us a lot of helpful information to do our theming uh, of course when the site goes live we want to turn that off so the tweak debugging is working let's see if the cache works right now so we have this hello there in our page.html.twig so I'm going to remove this right here save it and refresh the page and as you can see hello there is not here anymore so we didn't have to clear the cache for these changes to take effect if we write something else right here save it refresh it and we see we get this SAF and so on so this is the way you can uh, turn on tweak debugging and turn off the cache for Drupal so that you can develop your theme like you're supposed to uh, also one, one more thing if you don't wanna uh, follow all of this but I think this is the best and this is the Drupal way to do it so you wanna uh, separate your development environment for from your actual uh, live environment uh, you can just go to default.services.yml and rename this to default uh, to services.yml uh, because one of the reasons that uh, you should rename this file 
for this to work it's in settings.php if we go somewhere at the bottom you will see that it's actually calling that file uh, so I don't know why that is uh, let me just find that right here at the end somewhere okay so you see settings containers yamls services dot yml it's calling this instead of this default dot services dot yml so this is the reason if you change this twig config right here it just won't work okay so that's it for uh, enabling twig debugging and disabling cache in the next episode we are going to set up our gulp.js, sass, live reload, javascript minification and so on. I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, if you did please uh, like it or you can even subscribe to my channel. Uh, it's going to be a lot of Drupal 8 theming videos for this series. Also you can follow me on Twitter or on Facebook. I will keep you up to date with uh, the latest of my videos and also some of the stuff I find on the internet. And that's it for this episode, I'll see you in the next one.